Spirit Revelation Ecclesia presents two Sundays of My Story Must Change. I want you to know one thing this morning. I don't care whether you believe it or not. I don't care whether you want it or not. Tonight, God is about to change someone's story. I came specifically for Eastern Cape because I was under a lot of attack. Today in the morning, I was tooling blood. I didn't know where it was coming from. There's nothing moving in my life. Anti-progress, uh, there is a stagnation, and uh, completely nothing moving. I'm, I'm, I don't even have a job now. I was suffering from kidney failure since last year, September. I've come into the house of the Lord today expectant of financial freedom and I know that the grace upon the house of the Lord is definitely going to make that possible. I came today and I stood in the gap of my brother who is stage 4 cancer. I've been suffering from sciatic nerve. This started in 2014. The Bible says how Jesus, how God, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good, healing the sick, casting on demons, raising the dead, changing the stories of generations. Lift your hands up. God has anointed me to open the eyes of the blind, to heal the sick, to deliver the oppressed. And I stand in the name of Jesus to bless a demand on my anointing this morning that your story must change. I came with the power of the Holy Spirit. I came with a divine timely instruction from Yahweh to change your stories forever. Today, the man of God, while he was praying for me, really, I really felt the hand of God. I felt like there was just something that was living out of my body, and I believe God for deliverance. When Papa called us now, the ladies with sis, I went in front. There's a lady here with sixth. You have sixth in your private part. Zero sixth. Don't be shy. Come out quickly. I want to help you. The power of God is already on, on you. Ushers, be on them quickly as I'm praying for her. The rest will receive their miracle. Oh. Shut up! Oh. I don't know who these people are. I'm going to send them back to the doctors tomorrow. Yeah. Now, bring one, two, three, four up. Bring them up quickly. I want to send them to heavenly hospitals in a split of seconds. Now stretch your hands. Lift it just slightly above your head. Good, everybody. Wonderful. It felt like I was on a hospital bed and there was four or five beings that were operating me. And when Papa continued to pray, they were like giving me spare parts. I want to thank Papa God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing me. I want to thank God that the man of God located me, located the prayer point that I wrote about my brother when he told me, look into my eyes. What I could see, I cannot explain it. I cannot fathom it. I cannot comprehend it. But all I could feel was the presence of God moving mightily. I could now see the vision, the picture of my brother. I could see a brand new brother. I could see him being rejuvenated. I am grateful. I am honored. I've had a stroke in 2016, and ever since that year, my left arm fell, feels like it's been in boiling water. That is the stroke effects. I still, I still had some slight stroke effects. After I fell down, I felt this tingling in my body. I'm still feeling it. I can't tell you how I feel about it. It's a wonderful feeling. And I know from here forward, I'm in the right care. Thank you, God. You can't walk for distance. Yes. Many you struggle to walk. Yes. She can't drive, to, she can't drive too long. She, can't she must drive and stop. Yeah. For how long now? Since 2014. 2014. And you are in Cape Town? 
Yes. yes. Haven't you heard about me? On, on, on YouTube. When? Um, it's been a while now. We've been following you for a while. Like, like how long? You're over a year or two. Uh, why haven't you come? I've been following the men of God on Facebook and uh, YouTube and uh, hoping that one day I will come. Uh, so what uh, attracted me more is to see people getting healed uh, and most people coming from uh, different places. The minute he prayed, I could feel some tingling uh, in both my legs, my arms. I couldn't lift the arm. It was difficult. So I feel less pain. I feel healed and I believe I am. I thank Lord Jesus for what he has done for me. Normally when she gets up, she gets up like a granny, like with sore bones. You could see that she's struggling to get up, but this time she just went straight up and then she started walking. And in terms of running, she doesn't run, but today I saw her running, I saw her walking fast, and I give all the glory to God. Everybody is just feeling that energy. Um, nowhere else have I experienced this amount of energy and power of the, uh, of the Lord. God says that I should tell you that He has made you a God to every situation in your life. He has made you a God to that circumstance. He's made you a God to that predicament. Every situation in your life, you are a God over it, says the Lord. Your beat, your prison is your teleportation to your palace. Because your enemies thought that your beat was the end of your destiny. Your enemies thought that the prison, your prison, your frequent and into frustration was the end of your destiny. I've got a good news to you. They did not know that the beat and the prison we are mystical teleportation that God had orchestrated to transport you into your palace. Who told you that your circumstance writes your future? Who told you that your current predicament determines your destiny? Jesus has promised, not me, not I'm just a vessel. He has promised to destroy that yoke of darkness. He has promised to promote you. He has promised to change your life around. For the hour has come, the Lord will keep to his promises. Thank God, my story is changing today. My story has changed. And I believe my story has changed already. Truly of the truth, the Lord has changed my story. I need not say my, my countenance itself has changed. My story has changed. The experience now was unexplainable till now, but my story has changed and I know I have a bright future. No matter how low life has taken you, or how hard that situation has made your life become, your story must change.